Right now, the head of San Francisco schools is laying out a plan of action to get the district back on track. It's been a challenging few years, as we know, for SF Unified, to say the least. The district got national attention for the recall of three school board members. It's been blasted for focusing on issues like changing school names and creating new holidays. And while students struggled through the pandemic, KPX 5's Kenny Choi sat down with the superintendent about his plan to get the district back to basics and also. Heard from a parent who says change cannot come soon enough. Parents like Shiva Raj are watching the new superintendent and school board's moves, motives, and measures with vigilance. He's come into a tough situation. The school district that is firstly struggling even to get the basics right. The wake up call for Raj started in his son's room nearly two years ago, seeing the haunting effects of prolonged distance learning. They lost the desire to learn. Second, he was borderline depressed. Uh, barely eating two meals a day, not getting out of bed most of the time. That's when Raj launched a Facebook group to recall the SFUSD board, raising about a million dollars to mail flyers and collect signatures. That effort to keep the board accountable to parents continues today with the three newly appointed members' seats up for grabs. And if we don't manage to elect them this November, we run the risk that we're going to go all the way back to where we were before the recall effort happened. Raj and the SF Guardians, as they now call themselves, want the board setting priorities that are student focused, like improving math and reading proficiency. Second, balancing the budget. And third, not interfering with the superintendent's responsibilities, like hiring and firing certain staff. The message we have that I, I think is well received by the community is that the focus is on our goals for student learning, and this is where our time and energy and resources are going to be put. Superintendent Matt Wayne has been on a tour listening to students, staff, and parents since starting his new job. Recent scores show only 9% of black students are grade level proficient in math. Getting the state test scores it was, it was you know, difficult to see. There's bright spots throughout the, the city and schools that uh, are succeeding, but we see that the equity issues we're facing are only exacerbated. Raj's group believes Wayne is already moving the district in the right direction. He says it's the previous board and super that lacked leadership. Not a single person who had the willingness to put their energy into doing the thing that needed to be done. He's hopeful, but closely watching what steps come next to make every student's school day a better one. We now have the opportunity to do that, uh, but we still have to put the work in and we still have to stay focused for months, for years ahead before our kids realize the future that they deserve. In San Francisco, Kenny Choi. KPIX 5.